Hey guys, what's up? It's me, your girl Elisa from StylishCurves.com and today I'm back with a new video. Today's video is actually a highly requested video. You guys have been liking my makeup that I've been wearing for the last few videos that I've put up and you have requested on here YouTube and also on my Instagram, Stylish Curves, make sure you're following. Uh, you also requested for me to basically do a tutorial on the makeup look I was wearing in the Urban Decay lip gloss video. So that is the look I'm going to show you how I achieved today, serving you this face. So if you guys are interested in checking out this video, then you already know what to do, and that is to keep on watching. All right guys, so let's jump in and get started. So the first thing I'm gonna do is prime my face. Now I am oily, uh, I have oily prone, acne prone skin. So I actually use two primers when I prime my face, especially when I'm doing my everyday face because whenever I'm doing my everyday face, I need my stuff to last and I don't wanna look shiny. So the first thing I do is number one, I use my Becca uh, primer and this is an oil control primer. It's their Ever Matte Poreless Priming Perfector. So when I use this, I put this on my forehead. I don't put it all over my face. I put it in the areas that I typically get oily at, which is my T-zone, which I feel like everyone who has oily skin, that T-zone, man, that T-zone will have you looking like somebody was frying something on your face. So after I use the Becca Matte Poreless, I then go in with the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Poreless Primer. Now, I like this primer uh, because I feel like it really, um, I guess, like closes my pores. And then what I do is I put it on my cheek. Now, for this, a little bit goes a long way. So the next thing I'm going in is with my favorite foundation, and this is the Laura Mercier. Uh, this is the Silk Cream Oil-Free Photo Edition Foundation. Every time I wear this foundation, I get compliments. But for some reason, when I wear this one, people always feel like I have like a glow and I'm looking at them like, listen, this is no natural glow. But really what it is, is this foundation. I get it in the shade Truffle, which unfortunately is the darkest shade. Um, I really wish in this foundation that they would do more shades because it's excellent. Uh, I like it because the shade Truffle seems to be such a perfect and exact match. It's very liquidy, so I always have to shake it up, but this is what it looks like. And this is a thick foundation, so if you want full coverage, this foundation definitely gives you full coverage. And what I do is kind of just like warm it up on my hand, I rub it in a little bit, and then I just start to kind of dot it on my face. It has a red undertone to it, but once I do the highlight and everything, it all works out. Um, but I use a damp beauty blender to blend this one out because it is very thick. And as you can see, look at how beautiful this blends out. It just makes my skin glow. This foundation, it smooths everything out. It definitely clears up all of um, you know my imperfections but it's just it just makes my skin glow all right so you guys can see like it just brightened up my face right it just brightened up my skin all right so when it comes to my everyday makeup routine i try not to leave home without concealer now i do like to highlight um every day pretty much uh, whenever i wear makeup some days i do just use a concealer that's closer to my skin tone but i am going in today with the kat von d and this is their lock it tattoo concealer so i got the shade d39 cool in the kat von d lock it tattoo concealer now i personally like to highlight with cool tone concealers i just like how it looks on my skin tone especially when i use a foundation that has a red undertone to it so I'm just gonna do basic concealing, nothing special about it. And this concealer is super creamy. It's nice and thick. It's full coverage concealer. I can tell you that right now. It is full coverage. Sometimes I let it dry down just a little bit because it's so creamy. Um, I'm going to blend it out and I use the same damp beauty blender that I used to put on 
my foundation and this one is actually really easy to blend out that's what I do like about it it's very creamy and it's super easy to blend out it, you don't have to rake your face off and <laughs> just to blend it out right, so I'm done with the highlight so now I'm gonna go in with uh, I feel like this is a powder I've just discovered and it's the uh, fit me uh, press powder and well it's loose finishing powder but I love these powders I didn't know that they were so good to be drugstore powders sometimes these drugstore powders don't really work out but this one is the bomb so what I do is I go in and obviously set the concealer with this one now I have two so this one I'm using is in the shade 35 deep I use this um, to highlight under my eyes well to set the highlight under my eyes and it does such a good job of that and I like this powder because it's not necessarily like a yellow banana color I feel like it's the perfect um, I guess like taupey colors now let's move on to the eyes so I'm going in with my Huda Huda Beauty <laughs> uh, I'm going in with her eyeshadow palette which is the rose gold edition I love this palette so much now everyday makeup I do not use eye primer I do not have time for that so when it comes to my everyday face um, and especially the face that you guys have been liking so much I don't really use any color all I do is go in with this brown shade here and this is called the shade is called cocoa so I go in with cocoa and I just put that all over my eyes just to you know give my lids a little color so the next thing I do is go in with Kat Von D's uh, Lock It Tattoo Ink Liner and I use the shade Trooper. So this is one of my favorite uh, black eyeliners to use and I just do a basic, you know, cat eye with it. So I just do like a little line. Alright, so now after I've done my little uh, cat eye, so what I do now is to help open up my eyes, I use a brown liquid gel pencil and this is from Marc Jacobs. This is in the shade Earthquake. So it's just a dark brown uh, matte gel eyeliner and I like to use this because I feel like it makes my eyes look a little bigger when you have almond shaped eyes. You know, when you put on dark on the bottom and dark liner on the top, sometimes it can make your eyes look even smaller. And I hate that sometimes. Alright, so now I'm just going to dust off the powder. Alright, so now after I've dusted off all of the highlighting powder, so I go in with another Fit For Me loose powder. And this is the shade 40 Dark. So I like this to set around my face uh, where basically the foundation is. So all I do is take a big fluffy brush and then what I do is I dot it and then I buff it in. And I was surprised that the Maybelline powders worked for me because normally drugstore powders are just not dark enough. But this one is. All right, so now after I put on powder, before I go in with any blush and highlight, what I do is I spray my face first. I learned this tip from Alyssa Ashley. Um, she she did a video on like you know how to get a flawless face, and she said before she puts on certain powders, she sprays her face first. I've been doing that ever since I seen that video, and I see a difference as far as me not looking so powdery. I'm going in with the Ardell Wispy Lashes. What is the honking? Gosh, I'm trying to film. Sorry y'all. But I'm going in with the Ardell Wispy Lashes. All right, so I've applied my lashes off camera because I cannot do them on camera. We would be here all day. I'm going to go in with the Flower Mascara and this is from Drew Barrymore's Flower Makeup line. So this is their lengthening mascara and it's actually become one of my favorites because of the brush, br 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 brush brush 
it's become my favorite because of the bristles on the brush that was a tongue twister and then see on this the brushes the bristles are small enough to do my lower lash my lower lashes all right so now i'm gonna contour up my cheekbones you know because i have a round face i really like my cheekbones to pop i already have high cheekbones but i definitely love to contour just to make sure they pop even more so the contour shade i'm gonna go in with is from makeup geek and it's called deal breaker it's a warm deep shade and i love this contour uh, because it's not harsh i hate harsh contour so i'm just gonna go in with an angle brush and I start like right by my ear and I come down. You see, I come down like right under my cheek and then I stop. And then I just like go back and forth to blend it out. Now I can't front, there was a time where I used to hate having a round face, especially because my cheeks have always been so big and like full. So I used to hate it, but now I love it. I feel like there are people who are paying doctors a lot of money to get something I have naturally. So that's how I think about having, you know, full cheeks and a round face. Okay, then I put a little bit on my forehead because I have a five head and yes, shout out to all my big forehead girls. Then just to get me more of a chiseled face, I also do right near that double chin it's okay I like my double chin too so now I'm gonna go in with some blush and I'm using two blushes from Inglot don't kill me I don't remember the names of these I have bought both of them and then I bought the tray to put them in but one is a berry colored blush and then the other one is more of a peach colored blush and I basically use both of them together. I always tap the berry one and then the peach one. And then I just tap it on my cheeks. Right on the apples. And then I just blend it back and forth. Now I'm going in with some highlight. And this is from Bobbi Brown. I got this during the holidays. This is her holiday collection. So I'm going to use the brown one on my right. Uh, well, the golden one, not the brown one. The golden one on my right. And I'm just going to use that to swipe along my cheeks. And I always start from the back just in case I put too much. And then I blend out to the front. And then I just do a back and forth motion. And then sometimes I go up here. The highlight is good, right? Yes, highlight come through. All right, so now that I've put everything on, so then I go back in with my spray. Let that set in, and then we'll move on to the last thing, which is lips. All right, guys, so don't you feel like the second spray made a difference, right? I feel like everything is now all melted in and we're all good all right so now the last thing is for lips so when i did my urban decay lip gloss video you guys really like that makeup which is why i'm doing this video today um this is the lip gloss that i was wearing this is called dirty talk so if you have not checked out that video definitely do because i definitely gave it a thorough review i really just like this color because it just it, even though it's metallic, it's not a metallic that's overbearing for daytime. All right, guys, so that's it for my everyday face. This is literally how I've been doing my face for probably the past month or so. No colorful eyeshadow or anything, just basic foundation, highlight, contour, and you know, a cute lip. 
So I find that this look goes really well with a bunch of different lip colors. Uh, but yeah, this is pretty much, you know, the face that I've been serving lately in the videos. And I want to thank you guys so much for giving me all of those beautiful compliments. You sure know how to make a girl feel. So thank you again for checking out this video. Go and visit the blog when you have time, stylishcurves.com. And leave me a comment below. Let me know what did you think of this look. Other than that, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.